Hey folks, thanks for tuning into another video. This is uh, you know, a little bit different, not quite a review, but just want to show you a few things that I've uh, done to customize this uh, new build up pack uh, Din Djarin Mandalorian figure. Um, I did do a standard review of it, so if you can go back and check that out, and then you can come and see what I've uh, done to fix it or change it, depending on how you feel about it. <laughs> um, so, firstly, I wasn't overly thrilled with the fit of the helmet. Um, so I've actually converted the figure to be a swappable head, um, which is something I really wanted to do uh, from the get-go, seeing the Vintage Collection one that has recently come out with the child that still hasn't come out in here and anywhere in Australia. So, um, yeah, I really like that idea. I wish they'd gone with that with the Black Series. Um, so what I did is I actually had a spare Mando, um, which I used just for fodder, basically, uh, custom fodder and bits and pieces. Um, so I actually uh, took the helmet off of that figure, and what you get is a sort of a blank, blank head, so to speak. Um, there's just there's no face, there's no expression. It's just the shape of the hem head. Um, so I managed to remove the helmet from that figure, but the helmet was a little bit uh, disproportionalized. So I actually used the, the helmet that came with this figure, um, boiled it up into some hot water uh, with the head, and uh, once it dried down, it was still hot. I actually glued it in there. It had set at a slightly different angle um, because a lot of the Mando helmets that have been coming out since the Beskar version, um, even the first one, the helmet doesn't have that sort of tapered look down the bottom. As you can see, the back of the helmet goes down towards the goes down toward the chin of the helmet. Um, most of them just haven't had that sort of tapered look. I even had one really bad one that was almost like flat. It looked like a bucket. It looked terrible. Um, so along with doing that, I also got a slightly bigger drill bit, and I bore out that hole just a little bit more because um, it was a tight, a very tight fit. Uh, for the head on that ball peg and I didn't really want to have to heat it up every time I wanted to do the head swap uh, so I just drilled it out a little bit and I did the exact same thing with with the head sculpt here so it is just quite a simple pop you can see there I sort of just drilled out that hole a little bit I did it bit by bit I uh, just sort of went up in size as I went just to get a little bit more, gave, gave the drill a little bit of a wiggle just to take out a little bit more plastic and just waited until I got it to a part where it was still a nice tight pop um, but wasn't super difficult. So now that's a quite a nicer looking helmet there on the figure. Um, it's got that sort of yeah tapered look at the bottom of the helmet like I said. Um, fits a lot snugger looks a bit nicer still not perfect but uh you know it's it's better than better than any of the other ones i do have at the moment uh from the best garmando so we'll, we'll just pop that off again but yeah like i said i will be displaying this guy with the helmet unmasked uh but you can still hold the helmet so uh, just gives it a little bit more weight as well, um, but yeah, you can still display him holding the helmet there, which is a lot better. Um, also got around to customising his cape a little bit. So I wanted one that um, wasn't so hefty, sort of sat just around the jetpack a little bit more. Um, and I actually went down to my local Spotlight store. Um, the American equivalent is a uh, chain of stores called Michaels that like, you know, you can go get all your fabrics there. So I uh, just picked up this. This was like 40 cents for, you know, it was an end of roll. And it's just, just this brown, pretty simple fabric. And I've still got tons of it. So I'll be making up some extra capes for my other Mando figures as well. Um, to depend on what I need. Uh, I may redo this one a little bit. I just want to get a little bit more thickness around the neck there um, but otherwise it looks good I sort of just used a bit of fabric glue just to sort of tack it in some spots you can see there's a little bit of I need to bring that around a little bit more it's a little bit of a tack there where I folded it and sort of just tacked it together with a bit of glue um, 
as I've done with most of my Mando figures, I have also glued the, the rifle belt here to the back so that peg hole for the jetpack is um, in the correct place and also just sort of sits on the shoulder I do glue it to the shoulder there as well just so it sits a little bit nicer so the one problem I had is while the cape sort of flowed like that um, without punching holes in the in the cape and fraying the goods I wasn't able to get that peg in there so I simply got the jetpack shaved that peg off as you can see the, the sculpting for the belt is meant to fit in there as well so I li literally just slice that off and uh, so the cape can sit there snug underneath the jetpack fits in beautifully and it's not going to move around um, you can sort of tuck it under there even more if you want well, that's what I've done I'm just keep realizing that I keep taking the figure off camera um, so I apologize for that guys um, one little tweak I do want to do now is uh, I want to get some red paint and just red the little red on the little dots there on his belt on the uh, his little explosive charges but otherwise that's pretty much what I've done but yeah like I said the uh, the fabric came from Spotlight here in Australia. They're, yeah, they're, they're craft, they're homewares, they're all that sort of stuff. And yeah, like I said, Michael's in the US is probably where you want to go. Um, you should be able to get lengths of fabric and stuff like that. And if you can find like end of rolls, off cuts, they're usually pretty damn cheap. Like I said, I think that was 40 or 80 cents or something. It was ridiculous. Um, still wouldn't mind coloring the jetpack at some stage so definitely a work in progress but uh just want to show you what i've done so far i feel like it's a much better figure now um that i can do that head swap and still have like a nice solid head because i just the helmet didn't look right on his head so just wanted to give myself that option so yeah let me know in the comments what you thought what you think <laughs> thought or think love to hear what you got to say um yeah definitely recommend giving it a bit of a spin um like i said i did have an extra mando um so i did have a bit of a sacrifice there a noble sacrifice of an action figure to to get the parts i needed but um if you've got extra head sculpts from other figures that you know you don't have anymore laying around you can simply just, you know, shave that down to its bare minimum um, and then do the same thing with the hole and the Mando helmet that comes with this figure. All right, folks, let me know what you think and uh, stay tuned for some more videos coming up real soon. Until then, may the force be with you. Always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get on it.